Hey guys, it's Lauren and welcome back to my channel for the love of if you are joining me for the first time I want to say welcome and thank you for taking the time to click on this Bath and Body Works slash white bar candle review And if you're a returning viewer or subscriber, welcome back guys So you guys, I don't know what order I'm going to be doing these videos in But long story short, I placed an order online at Bath and Body Works It's actually the first online order I think I've ever placed online with Bath and Body Works. I typically go in store. I used to work for the company so I could easily stock up on everything I needed. But I did an order because I've been so busy. I didn't have time to get in store. They were doing a really good promotion on their candles. I think there may have been like a free item or free shipping, something along those lines. I purchased three different candles. That was the only thing I did in the order. It was just for candles. And I wanted to get some fragrances that would either go good with my current like gourmand fragrance theme or things that I could possibly burn for like upcoming holiday and it was just around the time so this is like a, a week maybe two weeks ago right around the time this crushed candy cane started popping up on Instagram and I started seeing it online so I had to give it a try I had not smelt this in store there were no reviews up of this candle i've only seen one so far i think of crushed candy cane thus far so it was like brand new and i go you know what let me give this sorry guys i'm still playing around with my lighting give this a try so crushed candy cane i don't know if it's picking up on camera but it's this really pretty light like a candy cane pastel -y pink type color frosted glass which is absolutely darling and you guys i have never burned typically for holiday i'll do tis the season slash winter candy apple type fragrances and then i'll throw in like a balsam or you know a pine type scent i think this year i want to go like candy cane or i wanted to try twisted peppermint maybe i burned it but i haven't done it you know consistently through the whole month of december so let me try crushed candy cane because I know I love, what was it? It was Joy, which is the, or, um, marshmallow peppermint. Do you remember when it was Joy? It was called Joy. And then they had the cute little hobnail single wicks. That's when I fell in love with um, peppermint marshmallow. I love that fragrance. I know sometimes it comes back, sometimes it doesn't. I like twisted peppermint, but sometimes it can be a little too much. If I remember correctly, the ones that I purchased in the past that I had tried didn't throw that well, which is kind of weird. So I wanted to try the crushed candy cane. So you guys, on cold, this smells like those soft after dinner mints. Like, you know, the ones in the little wrappers and they're very soft, not like a hard mint candy, but to me, it just reminds me of the smell of those soft after dinner mints, the red and white striped after dinner mints. It smells so good. It's not as strong as Twisted Peppermint, and it's not as sweetsy, like fluffy marshmallowy as Marshmallow Peppermint or Peppermint Marshmallow, whatever, I forgot what the exact name of it is. It's a middle ground scent between those two. I would say of the three, I still love uh, Marshmallow Peppermint. I just love like that marshmallowy gourmand scent. Now between Crushed Candy Cane and Twisted Peppermint, I feel like sometimes Twisted Peppermint can almost be a little too medicinally peppermint, whereas this a little more of a muted, soft, candied candy cane type peppermint. It's really, really pretty. Now I've only seen one review up of this candle. I did watch Tina Delicious. He said his didn't throw, I guess, as much. It was a little bit lighter of a scent. So mine was already in the mail by the time I saw his review. So I was a little worried that I wouldn't get much of a throw. Sometimes like vanilla based scents or lighter scents just don't have a throw. And then at the halfway point, they kind of stop throwing. So I was a little concerned with this one, but I'm happy to report I burned it two different times. So I haven't done a full on you know, thorough burn all the way down to see how it performs at that halfway point. I can Instagram about that if you guys are interested. But I tried it once in the half bath and then I also tried it out in the open concept to see how it would throw. In the half bath, I didn't have any issues. I could smell it, I would say in a standard size slash maybe smaller-ish room, one to 10, 10 of course being crazy, crazy strong. It was coming in at like maybe a five and a half, no, maybe like a six six and a half in a smaller room. 
Now, in the large open concept, I could smell it. I got wafts of it coming in and out. It wasn't a, you walk in the room and bam, in your face, you smell like this strong peppermint smell. It wasn't like that. It was a very light, in a good way though, kind of a backdrop type scent, but I could most certainly smell it, even in the open concept, which was a little different. Um, I would say in the open concept, one to 10, 10 of course being crazy strong, it was like a solid five and a half maybe six. In a smaller room, it's going to be a little bit more. I did have to let it burn for a good, usually with Bath and Body Works candles, when you light them up, you can smell it right away within, you know, 15 minutes. It did take for this to be almost kind of completely liquefied on that very top layer before I really start smelling anything, but it was a really beautiful scent. I like it. I think it's really pretty. I actually prefer this to Twisted Peppermint, but I do like Marshmallow Peppermint, Peppermint Marshmallow, whatever the name is, a little bit better than the Crushed Candy Cane. I think the two of them would blend really, really pretty. Would I purchase this again slash try Wallflowers if they do wind up getting Wallflowers in this? I don't know if they do or not. Absolutely. I would love to try this again. I think this would make a really great Christmas gift for someone as well because it's not a crazy, crazy strong scent, but it still is most definitely a scented candle and it certainly does throw. Um, if you have a larger, like a very large, large home or vaulted ceilings, you might need one at each end to really get that fragrance going. But I was very surprised and quite happy with the performance of it thus far. Um, again, I didn't do a long burn on this. I did two different burns in two different rooms. Nice smooth wax. And I actually, I didn't have to trim the wicks. I did not even trim this in between burns, which with my maple cinnamon pancakes, I had to keep trimming those wicks. So no issues with the wicks thus far on this fragrance. And let me read you guys the notes. That's one thing I forgot to do. So the notes for crushed candy cane include crunchy peppermint, and white sugar crystals. Very, very fitting. If you guys feel like the smell of those super soft after dinner mints, like a crushed version of that with like a sugary kind of just warm pepperminty vibe is something you would like, this is spot on. At least that's what it reminds me of. And if you like Twisted Peppermint, but it's way too much and way too strong and too cooling of a peppermint fragrance for you, you might want to give a crushed candy cane a try. I will definitely be purchasing this one again, and I think it would couple really well with most any other Christmas fragrance. So you guys, that is it for me today. If you guys have tried crushed candy cane, comment down below. I'm curious to see what you guys think. For those of you who have tried crushed candy cane and or twisted peppermint, tell me what your thoughts are. I'm curious to see what you guys think and which one you guys like better. So you guys, I hope you guys are enjoying all of your fall burns. I can't believe we're already getting into holiday. It's crazy. It's only a couple months away. Let me know what your holiday burns or if you guys are already planning on what you'll be burning this holiday in the comments down below. Before I sign off, I want to let you guys know I am on Instagram. Come find me at life, L-I-F-E underscore with W-I-T-H and the letter L. If you follow me, I will most certainly follow you back. And you guys, as always, I hope you're having an awesome day, an awesome evening, an awesome weekend, whatever time it is you're watching this video. Until next time, we'll see you later. Bye, guys.